M I cricket letter cricket letter I cricket letter cricket letter I humpback humpback I y'all know what that spells Mississippi my home state from gridiron greats to the first female black billionaire today we are featuring black Mississippians who really changed the world I'm your host Leah Gibson and this is the team I believe in giving people their flowers while they can still smell them. And everyone on this list deserves an infinite amount of bouquets. I know what y'all are thinking. So Leah, how many times does your name appear on the list? Let me check. So it appears that I'm still just hosting, but you know, wait for it. Oprah, I'm coming for you. Mississippi is my home, and although I acknowledge our past, as a native, I've learned to lean into the uniqueness of being from the SIP. Mississippi is in a league of her own, and so are her people. Regardless of what you've heard, we wear shoes, we have all of our teeth, we're highly educated, and we've raised some of the biggest stars to date. Anything you can do, Mississippians can do it better, with Southern charm and a little Southern twang. Blue, 42, set, hike. Did I just run a play? Although there might be 11 guys on the field, this next guy always shows up and shows out. Who am I talking about? Jerry Rice, of course. Coming in at 6'2", this Mississippi-born football pro is known as one of the greatest wide receivers of all time and the best player in NFL history. According to his autobiography, Jerry Rice actually began his football career during his sophomore year of high school in Octoc, Mississippi. The high school principal caught Jerry Rice being truant and after noticing his speed while he sprinted away, alerted the football coach about his athleticism, which secured a spot for him on the football team. After completing a record-breaking football season at Mississippi Valley State, Jerry Rice gained the attention of NFL scouts and was drafted to the San Francisco 49ers in 1985. His career spanned 20 seasons. 20 seasons, y'all. Even though he retired in 2005, Jerry Rice is still the NFL's all-time leader in yards, receptions, and touchdowns. And to top it all off, he has three Super Bowl titles. He changed the way football was played and will go down in history as one of the greatest athletes of all time. So, could we call Jerry Rice an actual game changer? Yeah. <laughs> now I understand why everyone in my family is completely obsessed with Jerry Rice. He's pretty good. Shout out to you, Jerry. Keep it up. Up next, we're rolling out the red carpet for Mississippi royalty, Asia Branch. At only 22 years old, Asia Branch made history by being the very first black representative from Mississippi to win the Miss USA pageant. But that's just the beginning. She continues to use her platform to advocate for criminal justice reform and to support the families of incarcerated individuals. This is a cause that's very near and dear to her heart after her own father was incarcerated during her childhood. One of her proudest initiatives, Love Letters, is a program that she founded that donates stationery to inmates so that they can communicate with their families. Asia Branch is an inspiration to us all, exemplifying that being a change maker and doing meaningful work is possible, no matter what your circumstances are, especially when you're from the greatest state in the world. Mississippi. Next up, the king. The king of blues, that is, B.B. King. Hailing from Indianola, Mississippi, Riley B. King, aka B.B. King, changed the world through music. With his musical roots beginning in church, B.B. King's self-taught and sophisticated style of playing the electric guitar gained him recognition on the radio, and it eventually led him to the blues scene on Bill Street. There, his fellow blues musicians gave him the nickname Beale Street Blues Boy, which he shortened to BB. The nickname stuck and he used it throughout the rest of his career. After assembling his own band in 1949, BB King landed a record deal and began touring across the United States. The rest is history. BB King became a principal figure in the development of the blues, influencing guitarists like Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and Eric Clapton. His influence was so widespread, in 1987, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. After touring well into his 80s, 
He died in 2015 and was laid to rest at his namesake museum in Indianola. His legacy remains a force so brilliant, it crosses cultural and racial divides to secure his title as King of the Blues and a world-changing musician. You have to have soul to feel and sing the blues. I remember singing, the thrill is gone, and having no idea what I was singing though. But it didn't matter. It's all in here. Okay, so we've covered sports, pageantry, and music. Next up is civil rights. Medgar Evers. Mississippi native Medgar Evers was a distinguished World War II veteran, a prominent civil rights activist, and Mississippi's first state field secretary of the NAACP. His life work was dedicated to expanding voting rights for black Mississippians and ending segregation of public facilities and schools. Because he was a prominent civil rights leader in the 60s in an area with a large white supremacist population, he risked his life daily to do the work that he felt was important. On June 12, 1963, Medgar Evers was assassinated outside of his home by a member of the Ku Klux Klan. The trial failed to reach a verdict until a retrial in 1994. His assassination helped galvanize the nation's focus on equality, justice, and crimes perpetrated against black people. And his legacy? It continues to inspire a more just world for everyone. Maker Evers really did change the world for the better. I could read about him all day. Of course, there are clearly more people that belong on this list, including Ruby Bridges, Ida B. Wells, Richard Wright, Fannie Lou Hamer, Angie Thomas, Margaret Walker, and Leontine Price. I could go on all day, but I encourage you to take some time after this segment to learn more about these amazing Mississippians. So, last but never least, when people show you who they are, believe them the first time. That's Oprah Winfrey's favorite Maya Angelou quote and life lesson, and it's actually mine too. All hail Queen Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey reigns supreme in so many things. She's a talk show host, actor, writer, producer, author, entrepreneur, philanthropist, the first black female billionaire, change maker, thought leader, and often ranked the most influential woman in the world. The world. She also happens to be from Mississippi, of course. Are y'all moving here yet? Oprah was actually born Orpa Gail Winfrey in Kosciuszko, Mississippi in 1954. After surviving a tumultuous childhood, she attended Tennessee State University on a full scholarship while also working at a local radio station, which is where her love for media began. After college, she went into newscasting full time and eventually moved to Chicago, where the Oprah Winfrey Show was born. From there, her career exploded, and the rest is history. Her philanthropy and influence has changed the world for the better, and I sort of feel like she's just getting started. Did you know that she donated over $800 million to charity? Wow. Can, can I be charity? Don't put that in there. <laughs> We're rooting for you, Oprah. We can't wait to see what's coming next. One day, mark my words, I'll be the Oprah Winfrey of YouTube, but I'll be myself. We'll see. Well, there you have it, folks. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty amped up right now. Just know, don't come from Mississippians. We clearly do not play. Just saying. I hope you enjoy learning with me today. I feel really excited to see good people doing amazing work in the world. I'm feeling inspired and a little jelly that I haven't blown up yet. We'll get there. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Leah Gibson, and this is Viti. Are you still not subscribed yet? Come on, guys. What are you waiting for? Subscribe and let me know what list I should do next. We've done Mississippi, you know, the best of the best. Mark that off the list. So what else is next? Did that rhyme? Am I rhyming? <laughs>